Hey, my name's Justin, and this is The Art of Repair. And today we'll be going over the two different types of soldering iron handles on the market to give you a better idea of which one to purchase for your shop or home lab. All right, it's time for you to purchase your first micro soldering station. First thing to understand is that micro soldering and macro soldering have different environmental and board side requirements so that you are able to do your jobs perfectly, properly, and effectively. This brings us to today's topic. Should I get a cheap old school station with an embedded heating element with a longer tip to grip range or should I spend the extra money and use the cartridge based systems that have the heating element built into the tip and have a shorter tip to grip range? Well, that's a great question that seems to be plaguing all new micro solders in the field. For you see, there are many manufacturers that still push these older style stations, but they don't really explain what application they're used for or which one's better for what type of job. They're just concerned about getting your money, knowing full well if you make the wrong decision, it won't affect them in any other way than you having to spend more money to purchase the correct units later. Let's just go over a few of the differences between the two different types of units so that you can make your own informed decision. First, and most importantly here, is a term that I mentioned earlier in the video that you may not really be familiar with, tip to grip. Tip to grip describes the distance from the end of your soldering tip to the actual grip itself, with older style units having much longer TG lengths than new units. This is very, very important to your work, and all we have to do to understand this is look at the natural progression of name brand units to understand that any decent station is gonna have a shorter TG length. Why, you may ask? It's very simple. Control, working range, and ergonomics. Older units with the longer TG length were used for decades for macro soldering, not micro soldering. So with the evolution of electronics, came miniaturization, and with that, the need for greater control and shorter working distances in the microscope. Hence, the change to that shorter TG length. Having a shorter TG length gives you much better control at such small sizes, where even the slightest shake of your hand can cause you to have to fix even more than you originally set out to do. On that note, and to finish up this first major difference, it's also pretty easy to see that the ergonomics of the newer handles are much, much better. I know that my pace handle station feels like it was designed like a medical tool. Very precise and very comfortable grip compared to the huge honking handles of the old style units. Now that can't be the only reason, right? It can't be as simple as TG length. Well once again, you're right. Another major difference between the old units and the newer units is tip build. Older tips can come in a wide variety of qualities that it's hard to know what you have until you have your hands on it to test it. Many tip manufacturers definitely do not take the road less traveled and will do anything to reduce cost on these tips to make the maximum profit. Good quality tips should not be magnetic, but unfortunately as it is, most are, meaning they're made of low quality and very short lasting iron, when they should actually be made of copper and just be plated. Newer cartridge style stations seem to have a higher quality standard and can be purchased from the brand manufacturer ensuring higher quality, long lasting usage. Additionally, newer cartridge chips have the heating element built into the tip itself, which in itself can prevent you from having to purchase a new handle or even having to repair your own unit if the element goes out or is not calibrated. Now, for me, this final difference is a pretty big one, especially if you have a single handle station. Since not every job requires just one type of tip, and if you find yourself with an older station that needs a tip change mid-job, you know the annoyance I'm talking about. It can literally be a painful experience just to change a tip mid-job. This is one of the most awesome benefits of a cartridge-based system. With a cartridge system, it's as simple as using the included tool or a silicone pad just to grab your tip, pull it out, and throw in a new one. Now, some will argue that they are fully capable of using an older style station to complete pretty much any job they need to do. And you know what? They're probably right. If you're dedicated to using an older style station, it's definitely possible to make things happen. But I will say, from my own personal experience over the years, with both types of stations, cartridge-based systems are leagues above any and all old school tie stations. In straight up usability in an environment where you're doing board work all day, every day. Remember, as long as you're committed to your craft, 
investing in proper tools will always be a good idea and will always pay for themselves in the long term. Don't forget guys, if you're interested in any of the tools I use, check out the description below. I even have my own custom tools that I sell down there as well that literally do not exist anywhere else on the planet except from the art of repair. I also have a Patreon where you can help support the channel so I can create even better high quality content.